Hello, I recently came across this checkbox demo and I thought it would make the perfect topic for a video. So let's look a bit into it. As you can see, each checkbox is created with a bunch of divs. Now let's bring up dev tools so we can see things a bit better. Now, as you can see, the first one always has this light blue background color, but the second one also gets it on hover after having it transparent initially. So, as you can see right here, it's flickering a bit. Um, okay, as for the check mark itself, it's made out of two pieces, and if you look carefully, you can actually see a gap in between the two pieces. So, the first one is an element that actually covers its entire parent, but it's clipped to a polygon which I'll highlight in a moment. As you can see, those are the vertices of the polygon it's clipped to. Uh, the right part, it's also a div that covers its entire parent. And again, it's clipped to a polygon. You can see the vertices right there. And it kind of looks as if this check mark is cut out of the checkbox. And you can see through what's behind. But if we actually uh, take a look here and change the background to red, then it becomes obvious it's actually cover and you can't see through. So what I'll be showing you in today's video is how to create this with an actual checkbox and its label, both of them in a form, and how to make it such that you can actually see through the check mark. So let's get to coding. First off, a form inside it, an input which we call check. And this is a checkbox, so type checkbox, we should see it. Okay, label for this um, check. All right, and here we have check me, for example. Um, and this does it for the markup. Now, let's put something on the screen. So we have um, check and followed by its uh, label. All right, um, now let's decide upon some dimensions um, and the width is going to be equal to that. The height is going to be uh, equal to the same. Let's give it a box shadow, which is going to be uh, like 0, 0, uh, 4 pixels and that color, and we want it to be inset. Oh, okay, and it doesn't get the dimensions because the label is an inline element, but we can change this if on the form we set display grid. Okay, uh, place content center. Um, something else I want to do here is Text align center. Okay, um, something else here. Just uh, set margin zero. Uh, and here make the form full height. So, okay. Um, let's also set a font right here. Let's say it's going to be like two ends. Um, and the line height is going to be equal to that dimension. So now it's right in the middle. So let's say, let's make it something nicer. Um, okay. Um, text transform capitalize. Okay, it's, it's starting to look a lot better. Now let's give this uh, an actual background, a nice background. Um, so it's going to use that uh, image. 50% cover should look let's um try to get a bit of better contrast no just leave it like this um looks good enough um here i want to have color white okay um let's also make it thicker. Okay, this is really good. Um, now, I want to have a before and an after. So, before, after. Um, and 
here I want to set position relative and here position absolute, top zero, bottom zero, uh, right zero, left zero. Uh, okay, content. Okay, now here I'm going to want to set something on. Um, actually, let me do it like this next blend mode, and here we having check screen. Um, here not. Okay, so here I'll be having, and the good thing um, about uh, using these uh, fallback values is that we can have different fallbacks. So here I have fallback of screen, and here I have a fallback of zero. Um, and here I have a J, which is calc one minus. I. And this technique I've already explained in an article that's going to be linked in the description. So what I'll be doing here is just to set the background and to this color and it's going to also have opacity which is I. So Actually, make this uh, one by default, and when it's not checked, it's going to be zero. Okay, so now when it's checked, you can see it just gets this, which is perfect. Okay, so now let's hide this position absolute uh, right. Okay. Now that's hidden. Something else I want to do here is cursor pointer. Now for the after, I want to give it a background. First off, we give it a black background. Okay, that's perfect. We shouldn't see anything. Um, and then we clip it so we have we clip it to a check mark clip path so we have polygon um, and let's say we have something like 0 30 percent and then we go down and right so let's say it's going to be something like 35 percent or 50 percent and then um Actually, bring it a bit further to something like 60%. Um, let's also change the left. Okay. 100% um, zero. Then we're going to have again 100%. And let's say it's going to be something like 25%. Now I add, so I'm going to have 35% and 85% and then 0 and 55%. So this is my clip bar. So now, as you can see, I just don't have that cut out there. So let's now get um, I'm going to want to have a transition right here so um, here transition and here I'm going to set transition inherit okay and 
and as you can see this is looking great now another thing i want to do here on the after is i want to have something like a mask Or I could actually have a background and just change the background position. So my background is going to be something like linear gradient, 90 degrees. Um, and it's going to be black, 50%, transparent, and zero. And let's put it initially like this. Okay, so initially I'll be putting it at 100%. Okay, um, so this is going to be calc. Something like this. Okay, but this is not exactly what I want right there, so let's, okay, um, what I want here is transition, um, and it's going to be, first off, it's going to be opacity, and it's going to be as it was before, then background position. Um, it's going to have twice this duration and it's going to have a delay. So now when I get this, as you can see, it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more in the future, remember that compliments don't really pay my bills, but you can. So. You can get me something off my Amazon wish list, which is stuff I would get anyway instead of paying bills and buying food. So basically you're paying for that kind of stuff if you're getting me something off that list. Or you can please share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.